the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Welcome to the Beliefs of Islam, episode 2. God and scripture and any reason or construct of sophistry and human limitations. Numerous world philosophies introduce the concept of one God, a deity, who is responsible for the creation of existence as it is. As will be seen in numerous of the episodes from Beliefs of Islam, which detail the different arguments and demonstrations which are rationally used to explain the evidence of a creator's existence. Many of the demonstrations lead one to understand the need for a deity. It could be further rationalized that this deity is one. Other than such basic and simple deductions, one can rationalize very little about what the attributes of such a deity are. Some misguided clergy under the guise of Islam in the previous eras of our history have dwelt into the sciences of a Greek philosophy, mystical asceticism and rituals which have been inherited from previous nations and as a result have focused more upon their understanding of Allah, although the lenses of a Greek and rational discourse then basing it upon the source of truth revealed knowledge through the prophets sent by God and the Imams who have preserved the religion from deviation. Some may ask, what is dangerous with engaging in such? Or, what is the problem of a human intellect? And indeed, it is within their right to ask such questions. Had such people been familiar with disciplines in contemporary philosophy and the discussions about God, Allah, within such fields of interest. They would, however, know why the question is, and of itself, problematic. Allow us to begin within the downfall of aspects of rational philosophy. Some of the modern philosophers have begun to question how timeless God could interact with the created beings within a time frame if He is timeless. This has led some to conclude that God is not uh, reality timeless and they adopt odd cycles of time to explain God being both temporal and timeless. Another dilemma which was introduced by the so-called rational philosophers is the concept known as the problem of God's knowledge using their restricted sophist definitions of facts they would come to conclusions the like of uh, if I am person X it is a fact that I know that I am person X because Allah does not know that the fact he is person X and which is non fact that therefore Allah does not know all facts. Tense facts are another well-known uh, sophistic concept which is uh, another confusing discussion in philosophy the problem is stated as thus it is a fact that I am doing this now for God to know it is being done now namely the tenth fact then God cannot be timeless therefore God is either temporal namely non timeless or God does not know tense facts all of these are examples of the sophist gymnastics which preoccupy the human mind and his uh, arrogance to enter the areas of dot. Islam does not deny reason has a role within the uh, discerning the evidence for the truth of Islam and the truth of the Creator. Yet, Islam denies that the construct of a human reason alone being intrinsically limited can come to understand or comprehend the greatness, glory and attributes of the Creator. As for mystical philosophy, then one finds that universally all religions have a form of mysticism, which commonly share certain practices even amongst the so-called Muslim mystics. One finds that they all follow certain men who differ on key constructs of who God is and more importantly, what the practices can take them to heaven. The fact that various forms of the unity of existence have emanated as a key model for the Muslim belief of Tawheed 
Yet each model is both unscriptural and contradicts one another despite emanating from the uh, same approach to religion is but another example of how mystical philosophy leads neither to certainty but rather to confusion. The intention of this short introduction to the difference between the personal God and the revelation and the philosophical construct of Greek philosophy in addition to the emotional construct of mystical philosophy was not to confuse the viewer, of course not, rather to enlighten the viewer as to why Islam does not pride itself upon strict rationalism nor mysticism, but rather is a revelation based upon that which was revealed to the prophets of Allah. Thank you very much for watching. Fiyamanad.